data from another cardiovascular outcomes trial was just released at the American Heart Association meetings and simultaneously published in the New England Journal of Medicine. What this study looked at was semaglutide in people with obesity without diabetes, but with known cardiovascular disease. And basically what this study was, was a randomized control trial looking at semaglutide versus placebo in these individuals who had an average BMI of 33 and a cardiovascular event. So they either had a prior MI, a prior stroke, or had peripheral vascular disease. This was a huge trial. It included 17,604 people, and it lasted for an average of 34 months. And in this study, they showed a significant 20% reduction in the cardiovascular endpoint, which was defined as death from a cardiovascular cause, a non-fatal MI, or a non-fatal stroke. So this was very significant and consistent with the cardiovascular outcomes data we have with semaglutide in people with type 2 diabetes. What is different and interesting to me is that many of these people actually had prediabetes. And the average A1C in this trial was 5.78%, with about two-thirds of the people having prediabetes. The patients who were treated with semaglutide had a reduction in the progression of prediabetes to diabetes and had a reduction in the progression of normal glycemia to prediabetes. So here we see both a reduction in cardiovascular events in patients who have obesity and cardiovascular disease, as well as a slowing of progression of prediabetes to diabetes. So this confirms what we really already knew, which was that semaglutide reduces the risk for cardiovascular events in people with type 2 diabetes. And now we have data that it also reduces cardiovascular risk in people who have obesity, but not type 2 diabetes, but have had a prior cardiovascular event. We also have nice data on its impact on the rates of progression of prediabetes. Additionally, there was no increase in the risk for pancreatitis in these individuals treated with semaglutide compared to placebo. There was no increase in the risk for depression, but there was an increase in risk for gallbladder-related complications. This has been Dr. Ann Peters for Medscape.